slow today because it is ferocious out there. Uh, maybe six foot seas, probably more, maybe six to ten foot, like three meter seas. Uh, reports of like steady 30 knot winds, gusts up to like 60, 60 knots. Uh, and in the wrong direction if you're trying to make it to Lesbos. Um, so I'm going to take the opportunity while we're slow to give you just a quick rundown of what the harbor looks like. Boom. Um, that's the corner from which the Coast Guard vessel will take all of the rescues around that corner. We'll bring them around here into the harbor. It's going to be really, really windy today, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Um, you'll see the Istanbul, that's a wreck. The refugees did come in on that. We've since left for... Uh, left to just disintegrate on the rocks. But we're walking down now. This is Malivos Harbor. So you'll see Sea Rescue just uh, moor their boat, trailer their boat. They're not going to be doing anything today. Uh, Greenpeace just came back in. But you'll see after the Coast Guard brings them back in around this corner. They moor right here. This all takes talking shop right here. They moor right here. And walk right here down up here we get the harbor set up we get them registered and then we take them up to a soccer field up in town you see the castle up there take them to town to a soccer field or football if you're watching this from Europe or anywhere else in the world that's not America when the bigger Coast Guard ship or sorry, Navy ship goes out. They pick up several boats at a time and they'll bring them to Petra. And Petra's just around the finger there. And that's where the Port Authority is. So they have a lot more room, bathroom facilities to be able to facilitate the registration process for hundreds and hundreds of refugees that come in. Here we can just fit about 100, maybe a little bit more than that. I know that we've counted probably 130 in at one time down here, but that's kind of a lot. The other day, just two days ago, we had three boats in a row, back to back to back. Thank God we were, uh, you know, ready, prepared to process them quick enough that we just kind of rotate as soon as one went out. That's when the Coast Guard boat came in. We got them registered. We got them up there. Yesterday, at last, was my first uh, shift at Moria, so I had a chance to take a look. Everyone was reporting before I went there that it's like a prison, and it really is. It looks like one, but they're free to leave. You know, they can come and go. It's not run like a concentration camp. Um, it's run pretty well by the UNHCR. So that is Malivos Harbor. This is the north side of the island. But the south side, that's where you're probably going to be looking at a lot more of, like, the free landings. That's where boats come in that are, you know, slip past the Coast Guard or other rescue vessels. And they just land there at the shore. Um, we're not stationed down there. That's the south side of the island or the, or the south east side of the island. We're not stationed there. A lot of other NGOs are down there. That's where you hear reports of many, many, many volunteers uh, down there. So a lot of which are independent, just trying to help out. Um, so they've got it pretty covered down there. Um, either way, they always end up either at Garatepo, which is um, a camp um, kind of just for a certain culture, making sure that the refugees are conflict refugees, not political or... Um, economic refugees, if you will. But that's where we get them registered. And that one's closer to Mitalini, where the ferry is. And um, anyway, the other two main camps are 
the IRC, which is up here, very close by. Um, and then there's also Morio, which I just spoke about, which is close to Mitalini as well. Either way, they all make their way to the ferries in Mitalini. From there, they go to Athens and then continue their journey. Right now, today is day one of the second strike since I've been here. This is day seven for me already. The second strike for the ferries. And actually, this is an island-wide general strike. So even gas stations are closed down. And really, that's because when the ferries run, petrol's not coming in. So what do they have to sell, right? Well, it's putting a lot of pressure on politicians and the powers that be to improve things. So hopefully things get a little bit better. Hopefully we don't see any boats come in because that would be a very, very dis dangerous situation. We've already talked to Sea Rescue and a couple other people. Uh, they say that the winds are supposed to shift later this afternoon um, in favor of any traffic coming into Lesbos. So it's possible we get boats trying at that point, but the seas are still going to be pretty rough and pretty high. So hopefully we don't get anybody trying it. Smugglers are fucking assholes though so they might be pushing people out I just hope not because it will be a very dangerous situation and very likely to cause medical emergency so stay tuned um, more updates to come hopefully we don't get any posts today stay tuned